I'll repeat myself then. I apologize. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this Christmas Eve service in which we are gathered in an unusual way, but um, with no less warmth and joy at the fact that uh, this is the night that we celebrate the birth of Jesus. And it is so good that from all over the place, you all are here. We have folks from multiple states with us and um, I know that this is a Christmas that's different from any other, but let us celebrate together. Please um, know that when we sing our carols, you are muted, so you are encouraged to sing as loud and as um, vibrantly as you'd like. Hopefully also you have a candle with you. You may have all of your Advent candles, but it, especially one candle, the Christ candle, um, that we will light in a short time. Uh, so please, be with me in prayer. We come to your manger, each of us, in the stillness of this night. Here we know our profound powerlessness, and here you are, a fragile, powerless newborn. Yet the newborn child in whom we recognize the ruler of the universe. We hear your newborn cry, the cry we have been waiting for, make room. Make room for me, fragile God born in the night. Meet us here at your manger. Meet us as a newborn child meets new parents. Come to change our lives forever. Meet us as the newborn who insists that we make room for you, who requires that we reorder our lives to pay attention to you, who demands that we be recentered on the very center of life. Fragile God born in the night, you come as a tiny light in a vast darkness. Yet that fragile and flickering light changes the darkness completely. Fragile God, meet us here in the lighting of our small lights that we may know your awesome power making room among us as the light that shines in the darkness, the fragile light that the darkness cannot overpower. Fragile God, there is room in our inn. Be born in our night. Amen. Isaiah, spokesman for God, about 700 BC. The people who have walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nations. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders the rod of their oppressor you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom, he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long may the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and 
since the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, oh hear the angel voices, oh night divine, oh night when Christ was born, oh night Divine, oh night, oh night divine. Truly he taught us to love one another. His law is love and his gospel is peace. Chain shall he break, for the slave is our brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy, in grateful chorus raised we, let all within us praise his holy name. Christ is the Lord, then ever, ever praise we his power and glory evermore proclaim his power. And holy evermore by my uh, oh, come on. God, I'd invite you to preach here. gathered with candles in our homes. We claim that Emmanuel, God with us, is the light of the world and that there is no darkness, no sadness, no fear, 
no grief, no illness, no loneliness, no violence, no word of unkindness, act of war, not even a pandemic that can quench the light of the world. Let us then light these candles again on this holy night. I light the candle of hope. Now there is no place hopelessness can hide. I light the candle of peace. and expose hatred as fear turned inside out. I light the candle of joy and suddenly everyone can find a smile, a moment of beauty or laughter. I light the candle of love and hands are clasped around the world. My friends, we all light the Christ candle, whatever candle you have with you. Pray with me. Oh, holy God, we light the Christ candle. It shines on smiles and tears. It shines and we hear angels. It shines and we see a manger. It shines and we remember the story. This light cannot be extinguished because Emmanuel, you are the candle tonight and we promise to be your candles tomorrow. Amen. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. <clears throat> this was the first registration and was taken while Quinarius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house uh, and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them at the end. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace among those who be favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child laying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it, were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. 
Let us join together and sing angels we have heard on high. But when you're gone, who remembers your name? Who keeps your flame? Who tells your story? Those words are not from one of our beloved Christmas carols that fill in the holes of the Christmas story with images like the cattle are lowing and angels singing sweetly o'er the plains. They are not part of a script of a favorite Christmas movie together with phrases like, you've been given a great gift, George a chance to see what the world would be like without you, as heard in It's a Wonderful Life. You won't find these lines in a treasured Christ children's Christmas book, like maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store, maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more from the Grinch who stole Christmas. No, these words are sung in the final song of the musical Hamilton as a multitude of founding fathers and a couple of mothers talk about whether and how they will be remembered. That's what we are here to do tonight. We are keeping the light that is Jesus flickering. And we get to start at the beginning when he came into the world in the usual way, just as babies this very second are, and every moment of history have always come into the world. It's a story of connection. God so wanted to reconnect with humankind. The bond had been broken between people and God, and it was restored with those first cries on that night in Bethlehem. And God has never stopped trying to connect with us ever since. That's the story that is ours to tell. Not an epic story of a king born among comfort and privilege and servants. No, this story of that night in Bethlehem goes to the common denominator among every one of us without exception, from the favelas or slums of Brazil's cities to the mountain villages of the Himalayas to the, to the delivery room of Southwestern Vermont Medical Center. We all enter this life with a story to tell. How do we tell the story that is Jesus? Besides Christmas time, and we share it with nativity scenes and carols and ornaments and storybooks and cookie cutters, we tell Jesus' story after his birth through our lives because his is a love story that shines best when we acted it out in the way he lived, caring for the forgotten, and seeing and embracing the dignity 
of every other person as having, like him, God within us. Connection. This long, hard year has been one where we have yearned to be connected to each other, especially this Christmas when we may not be with the ones we love. But the story doesn't cease to be important enough to share just because the world's turned upside down. Christmas still comes. We need this story of hope because the world is full of pain and loss and grief and distance. How will we tell the story with our lives? What will be different because we know the beginning, the middle, and the ending of Jesus' story? Will we pass on simple acts of kindness, maybe in the next few days reaching out to someone who was alone this Christmas? Will we be instruments of healing, keeping others safe during these COVID days? Will we not allow the powers and principalities to stop us from looking out for those who are voiceless or forgotten, maybe by continuing or even beginning to speak out and speak up whenever we encounter injustice? Will we keep love alive even during these times when we might find ourselves among those who are hard to love? I think Jesus would say, especially then, this is Christmas, my friends, the time, as a wise colleague calls it, when humanity and heaven collide. Have we got a story to tell? Let us meet God this night in the form of a newborn baby and take these words of Anne Weems to heart. The Christmas spirit is that hope which tenaciously clings to the hearts of the faithful and announces in the face of any Herod the world can produce and all the indoors slammed in our faces and all the dark nights of our souls, that with God, all things still are possible, that even now unto us a child is born. Amen. Let us now sing together amid our candlelight, silent night.
has been done. The news has been shared. A young maiden will bear a child and she will call him Jesus. But that is the beginning of the story, a story that has not yet ended, a story that includes us, a story of which we are a part. So we go out to live the story, to tell of the hope that is being born among us this Christmas, to share the love of the season with the world, to be agents of peace in times of trouble, to sing songs of deep and abiding joy. As you go, may God go with you, challenging us to respond to God's calls in ways that are new, unexpected, and a little unsettling. And as Tiny Tim said so very well, God bless us, everyone. Amen. Amen. Let us now blow out our candle and sing together, Joy to the World. Uh, as we go out into this night, this Christmas Eve, I invite you to take the peace that we've experienced here in this service and share it with the world. Merry Christmas, everyone. If you'd like to unmute yourself and say anything, feel free. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Hello to the front. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Thank you all. Be great. Take care of each other. Peace, everybody. Peace. Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. Take care. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. See you next year. Bye, See you next year. Bye. See you next year. Merry Christmas, Roberta. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Andrew. Merry Christmas, Carolyn, Landon. Love you guys. Bye. Merry Christmas, Sandy. Oh, 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 that's great. That's a great <laughs> time. <laughs> they got some kids. Oh, that was cute. They were dressed as reindeer. <laughs> I love you more, Nana. I'll see you. I'm just watching everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Bye Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Guys look awesome. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>